Welcome to this week's episode of Cooking with Kicks, and I'm your host, Michael. Sorry about the delay in this episode, I'm taking so long, but last week I was a little under the weather, not feeling my best, So, and also it was Father's Day, so I wanted to take a little time to spend with the family. So on this week's episode, we're doing something a little different. I'm not cooking again. I will be cooking probably next week's episode, but uh, my wife came up with an excellent idea of, um, why don't you rate the top 10 things that you always have in your pantry? Top 10 things you call your necessity items that have while cooking. And I thought about it and it, yeah, I mean, it's true. It, these are the top 10 things I always have in my kitchen at all times. Uh, so let's check them out. Before we get to my top 10 list of Cooking with Kicks Essentials, I just want to say thank you to my wife for my wonderful Father's Day gift. And I know what you'll say, you bought them for yourselves. And I did, I did buy them for myself. But, uh, so these are the Nike Air Jordan 1, home to homage. But these things are just crazy. So, you flip them. I mean, that's just nuts. So, I've waited so long for the bread ones and the Chicago ones. And then Nike comes up with this crazy idea to pick to pay tribute to both of them on one shoe. And I'm so lucky I was able to cop these. I mean, they're just, I mean, they're, they're bananas. I mean, look at these things, they're, they're crazy shoes. And, you know, thank you again, hun. Love you. And let's get to that top 10 cooking with kicks essentials. So number 10, in the Cooking with Kicks kitchen, garlic. I love garlic to death. <laughs> I would put garlic in everything if I could. Um, I saute vegetables in it. I marinate with it. Um, I just love the taste and flavor of garlic. Um, I prefer fresh garlic, but if you're in a pinch and you need garlic in your house, I always buy this at uh, Costco, the big jar. It's probably like $8. But it's well worth it. You get your money's worth out of it. Um, and I use it for everything. Um, so it's great to have on hand in a pinch if you want to make some uh, quick veggie or pasta, a marinade, anything. It's great to have on hand. Number nine on the list of cooking with kicks necessity items is adobo. And if you're Latin, you know what adobo is. But it's a all-purpose seasoning. It's got garlic, turmeric, and you can use it on any meat. Uh, I prefer it on chicken and fish, but you can use it on steak, burgers. Um, uh, just I grew up on it. My mother uses it. My grandmother used it. So it's just something that I know and I like the taste of it. Um, my one complaint, especially in the Midwest, so I got this at Hy-Vee, this, it's fine, small little bottle, I mean, we, as Puerto Ricans, we're probably used it for camping, but um, I wanted a bigger bottle, so I went to the river market, and I found a uh, Caribbean store, and this is a bottle of adobo, I mean, I mean, just look at the size of this, and I paid a dollar more for the bigger bottle than at Hy-Vee, shame on you Hy-Vee, shame on you. My number eight item on the must-haves in the Cooking with Kicks kitchen is ranch dressing. And I know you've seen me, and I've used it for marinade, and that's basically what I use it for. Chicken, you can even use it for fish marinade. Uh, my daughter loves ranch, so that's why we always have it, but I use it for a marinade. It, it, the buttermilk, instead of having buttermilk on hand, it lasts longer, and it also you also have the additional uh, seasonings in it so it's fantastic for that and I always have it ready to go number seven on the cooking with kicks essentials in my kitchen Rouse tomato sauce um, I blame this on Aunt Pat my wife's aunt um, she got me addicted to this stuff so uh, if you love homemade Italian tomato sauce but you don't feel like cooking it for a whole day this is as close as you're gonna get to it. Uh, it's a little expensive, 
uh, depending where you go. Um, Costco had it uh, for I think $7.99 for the big jar, but usually at um, Walmart, I think it's $7 for this size bottle, but it's well worth it. Um, it comes with different flavors. Uh, the spicy one I love. Uh, my wife and daughter aren't big fans of it, but I like hot stuff. Uh, so definitely worth having in the cabinet. Rouse tomato sauce. Number six is cornstarch. So the reason it's a necessity for me to have cornstarch is uh, instead of thickening with flour, my wife is gluten free, so I use cornstarch to thicken my gravies, my sauces, uh, soups, whatever it may be. I use cornstarch. Uh, you add it with a little water, to, uh, you stir it up, uh, and it'll make like almost like a paste, and then you just add it to whatever you trying to thicken, and it's just as good as flour. I actually prefer it better than using flour. So it's always a must have for us. Number five on the list of must haves with the Cooking with Kitchen, butter, real butter. I love butter <laughs> so much. I love butter on toast, I love butter, um, I just love butter. Uh, and again, you can use margarine, I don't like margarine really, so um, I will always prefer real butter over, uh, especially the first sauteing vegetables like onions. Uh, if you don't want to brown your onions, use butter instead of like olive oil or anything, they won't brown. Uh, I mean, you can burn them, but uh, but I love this butter, love it. You get it at Costco also, huge, you know, four packages for, I don't know, I forget how much it costs offhand, but it's an essential in my kitchen. Number four on my list is EVOO, extra virgin olive oil. Another item that I love cooking with. I like to uh, use it on vegetables, pasta, fish, uh, marinating. I mean, it's just f fantastic for cooking. And it's Nice to have a big jar like this on hand uh, anytime you need it. And we always have it and love using it. Number three on the must haves in the Cooking with Kicks kitchen beef and chicken broth. So, why do I have beef and chicken broth? Well, to make gravies, to make soups, uh, to make sauces. Uh, had flavors to pasta, rice. It's it's a must-have in your kitchen to have. Uh, I don't have vegetable stock, but you know I also have that sometimes on hand. But they're great to have, and they their shelf life is I think a year plus, so they're good to have on hand, and they're a must-have. Number two on the oh the must-have always in the cooking with Kicks kitchen is pasta. And like I said before, yes, my wife is gluten-free. Um, and to be honest, you can't taste the difference. The only difference between gluten-free pasta and regular pasta, this eventually does break down after time. Like cooking it, if you overcook it, it will break down, especially in soups. So, uh, but taste-wise, you know, I can't taste the difference. And I've served it to many people and they can't tell me the difference. So, but it's always an essential and we always have it on hand in our house. And now, the number one item that is a must have in the Cooking with Kicks Kitchen and what'll make all your cooking phenomenal, right here, is your heart and the love of what you do. And I know it's corny, it sounds corny, but it's true. So my greatest joy that I get out of cooking is to see other people's faces as I feed them something that is just they think it's out of this world. And to be honest, that's what drives me to cook and do this show, I mean, is to give people the power of cooking and show them that, you know, anyone can cook. You know, it's just following a recipe. If you can follow instructions to build something, you can follow a recipe to cook something. But uh, it's true, I mean, I love cooking. I love to see people's faces when I uh, give them one of my meals, uh, creations that I just come up with, you know, like the jalapeno popper burger, or, you know, the 
the old-fashioned French toast. I mean, seeing people's reactions, they're like, how'd you come up with this? It, you know, it's just like a professional basketball player uh, hitting that last-minute jumper or that musician going on stage and feeling that rush or that crowd. That's what it's like to me. I mean, yes, it's in a smaller, more confined area and it's, you know, maybe at most 20 people, but still, it's that rush and that enjoyment that I get out of it. And uh, lucky enough to get that from my mother who feels the same way. My mother will literally cook for people and she will not eat until after they have left, which, you know, I never understood why, but uh, she say, always says the fumes overwhelm her, but I think it's also just to see people's enjoyment on their faces. And I also want to send much love to my mother and wish her a happy birthday. Uh, Mom, I love you and you inspire me every day to be who I am and I love you to death. Um, also to my wife whose birthday just passed. Uh, without her, I, you know, I, I couldn't do the show and without her, you know, just... And I know that these episodes you're saying to yourself, Every time I watch these episodes, I just get emotional, but uh, you know, those are two of the most important women in my lives, besides my daughter. And I just want to show them as much love as possible and tell them that thank you again. And um, but next week's episode, we're gonna, you know, we're definitely gonna cook up something. And um, I'm sorry for last two weeks' episode just being uh, a grilled cheese episode with Ava and um, top ten lists, but. I think it was important for you guys to know my essentials that I have in my house at all times. And until next time, the views are in you, and without you, I can't do what I do. So thank you guys.